On the 15th anniversary of September 11, 2001, Hudson County View went to the Weehawken waterfront where tens of thousands of New York residents were helped by first responders from New Jersey. Held in front of their 9-11 monument, which was made with authentic pieces of World Trade Center steel, the interfaith ceremony saw representatives from several different faiths reflecting on the terrorist attacks from 15 years ago. Dear God, we know you by many different names, but we recognize that your oneness reflects our oneness as your children. Lord, in the midst of our grief and the memory of our loss, we gather in your presence once again and remember. We have feared the terror of the night. We have seen the sacrifices of the brave. We have cried the tears of the lost. We have clenched our fists and raged against the pain and damage. We have wept and mourned, lashed out and retaliated. We have healed and hoped. The souls of those we who we lost on September 11 with the mercy and grant them comfort. O Almighty Creator, grant their families patience. O Almighty Creator, bless and protect our fellow Americans, bless and protect our families, grant our leaders wisdom they need. All the young people who will begin high school as freshmen this year will be born after 2001. And for all these children, this is already history. What we are facing in our time is the epic battle between the forces of darkness and the forces of light. Between those who wish to enforce upon all of us a corrupt and dark way of life and those that wish to keep alive and well a world that follows the universal codes of morality and freedom of ethics. The five names of the township residents who were lost as a result of the attack were also recognized at the event. After the ceremony concluded, Weehawken Mayor Richard Turner explained the important role the Weehawken Waterway played in 9-11 as around 60,000 New York residents came to the small North Hudson municipality seeking food, water, shelter, and medical treatment. The events that took place that day, Weehawken had 70,000 individuals from Manhattan evacuated to our township. Um, and our fire, our police, our EMS, literally hundreds and hundreds of volunteers came forward to assist people. Um, they set up a triage center. Some people were covered in debris and, and had to be cleaned up. Others needed medical attention. Um, others were just in a state of shock. So the whole community came forward. All the organizations um, provided shelter. You know, everybody, you know, people don't remember that the entire state was shut down. Roads were shut down. Bridges were shut down. Tunnels were shut down. Um, the monument you see behind me um, commemorates not only the five individuals that were lost, um, we walk in residence, all the other individuals that were lost uh, in the World Trade Center in Pennsylvania and in the uh, Pentagon, but also all the, all the groups that assisted in uh, sheltering, feeding, um, uh, providing medical assistance um, to the 70,000 individuals that were brought here. And we had to get them out again, you know, once they were here, we had a, we, the New Jersey Transit sent buses, we got them to the Meadowlands, and from the Meadowlands they were able to get home later on uh, that day, early in the morning, actually 5 or 6 in the morning. I'm John Hedis with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.